Today on Natty Rides, size does matter. As you can see, there is um, quite a size discrepancy. Feet. Yep, keep going. Yep. And how low can we go? There's a pretty significant squat on the Nissan now as well. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos every week. Nice one. Here, how about we do this? Dude? What? You, you give me these. Yeah? I'm gonna get you the actual one that you should be using for that. Okay. I'll give you the other Because that other tray is strong. Well, I hope you liked that intro, and if you didn't, don't worry, it is over now. Uh, Noah is getting me an impact socket that is uh, a good configuration for this this breaker bar. It's the first time using the breaker bar, and I gotta say, it's a really good benefit. But uh, today we are going to be installing a Class 3 hitch from Kurt on the Nissan D21, specifically uh, the years 87 through 97, and this uh, hitch is compatible with both the two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive versions. Um, the specific model number of this hitch that I have is model number 13092, 13092. And I will have links down in the description to uh, an Amazon affiliate link if you want to support the channel. That is the best and only way for you to do it. And you don't need to purchase this hitch. Anything that you purchase on Amazon will go to support the channel. So just figured I mentioned that. Uh, no pressure. Um, as for a few little stats regarding this hitch, the gross load capacity when used as a, as a weight carrying hitch is uh, 5,000 pounds for trailer weight and 500 pounds for tongue weight. And the gross load capacity when used as a weight distribution hitch is 6,000 pounds trailer weight and 600 pounds of tongue weight. Uh, my specific use case is going to be uh, mounting my my Black Widow bike carrier on this and my XT250 motorcycle. And the total weight uh, that this is going to be towing is about 400 pounds tongue weight. So um, I, I really wouldn't want to exceed that much more. I'm going to be maxing it out as it is. But uh, a couple of last honorable mentions is as we're here kind of delaying, uh, in, our, in our final steps, I had to cut a couple of wires that connected to the license plate light before we ended up taking the entire bumper off of this vehicle. And if you want to see what that actually looked like when I had no bumper at all, um, you can take a look at my Instagram page where I have a post of um, what that looked like. And I got to say, it has quite a lot of ground clearance, which is pretty impressive. So let's cut back to the video. Now, I don't know how I'm just gonna step on it, yeah? Yeah, it just break it just pushes straight down, yeah. Yep, keep going. Yep. Yeah, you're good. Cool. Yeah, it was just in here. Interesting. Okay. Yep, and then there's this little in a bracket in there. Leave that because we're going to need it to put them back in, don't you? Okay, and before we get too far into this installation, let's actually go over what comes in the kit. At the top, you have this cross member piece that uh, you know has the the actual receiver welded on to that. Uh, on the side, you have these these two little arms. I think I'm going to. You know, be referring to them as slats later on in the video, but those arms obviously mount to the ends of that middle cross member. And if you look at the very bottom, right next to where all those impact sockets are, you will also see three brackets. So two of those brackets are going to connect to the arms, and one of those brackets is going to uh, connect to, to your exhaust, because in one circumstance, when you mount this up, your exhaust is actually going to be in the way, and uh, these are basically all of the components that you're going to need throughout this installation. So we're going to switch over to some in-person commentary, but that's all I think you need to hear about uh, the hardware. All right, well, we have made some major progress on putting this hitch on. And uh, so you guys don't feel like you're not included, I will walk you through kind of some of the basic steps that we went through in order to get to where we are right now. 
So there are three different major parts to this uh, specific Kurt hitch. Um, this little center bar right here is obviously where your hitch is going to connect. And I'm sorry, we do have a light on right now and I'm not going to turn it off. Um, you know, this is going to uh, combine with, with these little slats that are then mounted directly to the frame. And something that we found uh, kind of unique were these little bars that slid all the way into the back. And if it can focus a little bit, um, we then connected it with, let's just call it this bracket, um, up into in the frame again. Now, if you notice, this solid frame um, is not really something that we can get a wrench or a, a screw uh, into. So we actually had to, to thread that bolt all the way through this this frame piece into the hole right here and i think i actually have a spare piece to show you we used um this little this little section with this bolt all the way through so that it could seat properly and flat against the bottom of that of that frame and it's not going to move at all it's just going to stay in that place so we just took a bolt and uh, put that bolt up and tightened it up so that back piece can be secure. Um, the only, the reason why we're taking a break and I'm, I'm giving you an update of what we have done right now is because this part has been tightened down. You know, the center, the center piece has been connected with these side slats. Um, the back has been secured to uh, the, the frame, which was a little bit difficult to get to because we had to fish that, um, that bolt all the way through. But now there's actually a uh, second hole in these little slats and there's no hole in the frame. So we are going to need to drill a hole through the frame and, and in the, the instructions of, um, you know, this, this, in the instructions, it did say there would be some drilling required. So it's not unexpected. We're just going to drill a hole through, um, you know, get a, another, another bolt, uh, just, just like this fish down. Excuse me. Yeah, another yeah another bolt fish down. We're gonna put a nut on the bottom of that, and then everything will be um, the official term for it. I believe is super duper uh, secured. So here is what that bolt looks like over on the opposite side, all cinched down. Um, we didn't have to use a tool to fish the bolt all the way through, but um, it did take just a little bit of finessing. Uh, you you will need a a pretty large drill. What, what size of drill bit was it again? I'll tell you in a sec. Okay, gotcha. So yeah, you will need uh, a pretty large drill bit in order to make that hole. But uh, we were able to do it. To put a pilot hole in, and everything else is cinched down pretty well. So we're gonna drill that hole and kind of replicate this on the opposite side, and uh, then we'll tighten everything down and we'll give you a final update. So in conclusion, uh, now that the class three Kurt hitch is put on, I have no concerns whatsoever that the hitch can uh, stack up to the abuse that is going to be put through with that Black Widow uh, bike carrier and the XT250. Uh, however, it seems that the limiting factor I'm, I'm uh, uh, getting now is the truck itself. The leaf springs are completely flat the uh, shackles are completely maxed out and although the trucks could probably do the job in getting the bike from point a to point b i do not feel comfortable at this point uh, driving this truck uh, in this configuration that it's currently in so if you tune in to the next video that i'm going to make uh, that will be when i add a, a pro comp uh, at a leaf uh, leaf spring to the rear of the truck and hopefully that will cure the sagging that you see in the rear and stiffen up the suspension so that this issue does not happen anymore so thank you for watching till the end of the video i really appreciate your time uh, if you have any interest in the xt250 or the black widow bike carrier i have made videos on both and you are more than welcome to watch those videos i will have them linked at the end um, otherwise until next time ride or drive safe and i will see you in the next video